Here I have three medium sized zucchinis that I have uh, washed and I'm cutting off the top stub uh, of the zucchinis and also the bottom end. Uh, you don't want to cut off the stub completely in the, on the top, but you can if it's, it's optional. And then I'm going to cut uh, the zucchini lengthwise into two halves. Uh, try to make the two halves as equal as possible because uh, you want to fill them evenly. So once we have the zucchinis, we're going to scrape off the flesh of the zucchini. Uh, if you have a melon ball, uh, melon baller or something like that, you can use that. Uh, I'm just using, I don't have that, and so I'm just using a regular spoon. So you want to scrape off the flesh, but you don't want to make it too thin. You don't want the, just the skin uh, because it'll be just too thin. It won't hold the filling when we bake it. Uh, so we do want a little bit of flesh on the sides uh, and the bottom, but uh, take out the flesh and make, try to make it as smooth uh, of a boat as possible. So I'm doing that here. Don't throw away the flesh of the uh, zucchini that you scraped out. Uh, we're going to use that as part of our filling later. So save that. These are what the zucchini boats, uh, the shell of it looks like. And I'm going to put them in a baking dish. You can also use a baking tray and then sprinkle it lightly with a little bit of salt and let this stand while I work on the uh, filling. So next I'm going to chop off, roughly chop off the uh, flesh of the zucchini just to get rid of the big pieces here and then I'm going to work on the filling next. So in a pan on medium-high heat, I'm adding uh, two tablespoons of oil. I'm using olive oil. You can use any other oil that you like. To that, I'm adding one cup of chopped celery and one cup of uh, bell pepper. I'm using yellow bell pepper and then the uh, zucchini flesh uh, that I had scraped, scraped off. Uh, that came to about uh, two cups and I'm just going to mix that together. You can really use any vegetable that you like, black olives, corn, rice, cauliflower, even spinach would be great for this recipe. So to this mixture, I'm going to add a little bit of salt and about a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Next, I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of cumin powder and uh, followed by about a teaspoon of dried oregano. You could also use dried uh, thyme, I just didn't have it at hand and give that a good mix. So you'll notice that after I added the salt, um, it starts oozing out a lot of uh, water from the zucchini flesh. So if you would like to avoid this, uh, what you can do is once you scrape off the zucchini, uh, the, keep the flesh in a sieve, sprinkle it with a little bit of salt and let it stand for a little bit and then let the water drip out and then add it to this mixture. So next I'm adding uh, one cup of cooked black beans. You can also use any other beans, kidney beans would work well also. Uh, I just like the flavor of black beans. And then I'm going to add about a cup of cooked brown rice here and give that a good mix. The brown rice also soaks up a lot of the uh, moisture. So keep that in mind if, you're, you know, if your mixture is dried. Next, I'll add about a tablespoon of tomato paste. If your mixture is really dry, you can use fresh tomatoes as well instead of the tomato paste. Give that a good mix. And once everything is mixed together, I'm going to turn off the heat and then add about one and a half tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese. You can add more or less depending on your preference or skip the cheese altogether. It's up to you. I'll give that a good mix and then our filling is ready. The next, uh, the zucchini boats, uh, the shell, uh, you can see that it starts also oozing out a lot of uh, water. I'm going to dump the liquid out from all of the shells and then just take a paper towel and uh, rub the shells so that the moisture is uh, gone. You don't want to add your filling into a, a pool of uh, water while you're baking it. And then I'm going to start filling my uh, zucchini shells uh, with the filling that we just made. For the six halves that we have here, the filling that we made just uh, turned out to be the perfect amount. But if you have filling left over, this also makes for a great lunch the next day. 
I'm just going to add a little bit of uh, shredded mozzarella cheese on the top of each of the zucchini boats. You can add more or less or skip that all together if you like. Also make sure if you're a vegetarian that the mozzarella has vegetarian rennet. Meanwhile, I had my oven preheated at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm just going to cover the baking dish with an aluminum foil uh, and then put this in the oven for 375 at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes. Depending on how big or small your zucchini is, you might want to check on it uh, around the 20 minute mark. And also depending on how firm or soft you want the zucchini to be, you want to uh, increase the time or decrease the time the zucchini boats sit in the oven. So I took mine out at around 22 minutes. And this is what uh, they look like. The zucchinis, the shells are still firm. They're not uh, overly cooked and soggy. I put them in the broiler uh, back in the oven uh, to broil for about three to five minutes. And so the, until they're slightly brown, if you prefer to be more brown, put them in for longer. Um, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle all the zucchini boats with a little bit of um, uh, coriander leaves, chopped coriander leaves to garnish. I also chopped up some uh, grape tomatoes and uh, sprinkled on top to garnish. And also the chopped tomatoes, I feel, uh, gives a very nice taste uh, to the zucchini boats. So this is our zucchini boats. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. As always, say a little prayer and share the love. I'll see you in the next video.